if you did this easy and cheat error in star citizen and the error says untrusted system file and shows a directory here with atidxx64.dll now this tutorial will guide you on how to resolve this issue be sure that you follow the instructions very carefully now the fix that works for so many people is go back to a previous amd driver version now to go back to your previous amd driver version you can visit the AMD website. The link will be available on the description of this video. Also, click to that link to take you to this page here. Now, ensure that you download the 25.9.1 driver version. That's the last fully working driver for Star Citizen. Make sure to uncheck Keep Up to Date so Adrenaline doesn't update your driver to the new one. So, once you go to this page here, select on the graphics side here. Now, also select on graphics. So, click here on. So, just choose graphics on the drop down menu. Now make sure to select your graphics card. Let's say your graphics card is Radeon RX. Just an example, ensure that you select your graphics card that is appropriate to your PC. Let's say your graphics card is Radeon RX, so click on it. Let's say it's a 5000 series, so click on it. Then let's say this one, so make sure to select the correct one. So select this one, and then click Submit. Now wait for the page to load, and then make sure to choose your Windows version. Now let's say you're using a Windows 11 64-bit edition, you can click on this drop-down menu. And make sure to scroll down on this page you'll see previous version now click here on the previous version then make sure to choose your window version again i'll choose this which is windows 11 64 bit edition now scroll down we say that you need to use this one which is 25.9.1 driver version so look for it which is 25.9.1 which is this one simply download it here so make sure to select here download this will download this driver version. After downloading it, make sure to install it on your PC. Make sure to uncheck Keep Up to Date so Adrenaline doesn't update your driver to the new one. Or the easier method you can use, the rollback driver option. Open Device Manager by searching it from the Start menu. Expand the Display Adapters section on your Device Manager. Now right-click on your AMD graphics card and select Properties. Go to the driver tab if the rollback driver button is active click it and follow the on-screen prompts so this is the easy method you can use open a device manager by searching it on the start menu expand the display adapters section right click on your amd graphics card and select properties go to the driver tab if the rollback driver button is active click it and follow the on-screen prompts now, if you have done so but are still facing again the same issue try switching to vulcan now to switch to vulcan Go to the start and select run. So on the start here, just search for run application and open this run system application. Once you open it, on the open here, make sure to type this, which is, you can copy it here, which will be available in the description of this video. Make sure to copy it and then open the run application again. Now paste this, which is L plus V. Paste it and then click OK. Now also you click OK, open the last shader folder. For example, you'll find it like this. Make sure to open the latest shader folder, which can be example like this one. Inside the graphics settings.json file, make sure the renderer value is set to 1 to use Vulkan instead of 0, which uses DX11 or DirectX11. So follow the instructions as it is written here. Open the latest shader folder after pasting this. And then you can go to this directory here, which is graphics settings.json. Now open this graphics settings.json. Inside the graphics settings.json file, Make sure the renderer value is set to 1 to use Vulkan instead of 0, which uses DX11. Also, after that, if you've done so but are still facing again the same issue, try downloading and installing Vulkan SDK and Runtime. The link will be available on the description of this video. Also, click to this link here to take you to this page. Just simply download this SDK installer and then also download this Runtime installer. So, you just need to download this SDK installer as well as runtime installer ensure that you choose for windows or if you're using windows or linux choose for linux now after downloading the sdk installer as well as runtime installer make sure to install them on your pc and hopefully this will be able to resolve the issue so try downloading and installing the vulkan sdk and runtime sdk so follow the instructions very carefully and i hope this will help you and see you next time